I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a cootie catcher today and all you need is a piece of paper and some markers. So first you're going to want to take your piece of paper and fold the corner to the edge of the paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right here. You want to have a nice crisp point at the top like, like this. So once you're done that, you can either take some scissors and cut the bottom, but if you don't have scissors, you can fold the paper and use your nail to press down and make a really good crease. And then you're going to take the paper and open it the other way and do the same thing. And once you're done that, you can just, the paper should easily be able to tear. Ta-da! <laughs> Next, you're going to want to open your paper and fold it again diagonally. My corners didn't quite match up perfectly, but that's okay. You don't really need perfect corners for this anyways. You're going to open the paper again and fold it into in half. You're going to open the paper one last time and turn it and fold it in half the other way. When you open it for the last time, you should have something that looks like a star. Fold in the corners to the center. And you're going to do that four times. Fold in all four corners. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. And you should have something that looks like this. So once you have this part here, you're going to turn the paper over so the flat side is now up. And then you're going to put it back down. You're going to fold each of the corners one more time to meet the center. So one, two, three, And now you should have something that looks like this. So once you have the four corners met again on the inside, you can actually put it back down and fold it in half. And this part is a little bit tricky, but you can just push the insides in to all meet. And this part pops out from the bottom. And there you have your cootie catcher. We're going to decorate it now so I can play with my friend, Miss Julie. All right, so I've decorated the outside by putting four different colors on each of the squares. I've used blue, red, green, and yellow. And that's on the side that um, when you fold it, you'll see that from the outside. So that's going to be what your outside looks like. But now you'll still want to open it and fill in the inside. So what I like to do on this part is add numbers to each of the sections and I will write a response under each flap. But first let's start with the numbers. So because there are two, four, six, eight, there are eight little triangles. I'm going to fill out the numbers one to eight. One. And I'm probably just going to skip. So I'll do every other number. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've come up with these different responses that I will use to fill the inside of my cootie catcher. Um, I've come up with eight responses for my yes, no answers. So I, I will start with yes. So once you have all of your responses, you can close up your cootie catcher 
by folding in the flaps, folding it shut again, and now you can play with your friend. All right, so this is my friend, Miss Julie, and I'm gonna have her ask a question and we can try it through Cootie Catcher. Will my cat have kittens? Okay, pick a color. Mm, blue. B-L-U-E. Mm, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three. One, two, three. Last question, last number. Four. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that flap and see what's under four. And the answer is no. Miss Julie's cats will not have kittens. Well, that makes sense because my cat is fixed. <laughs> it works. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching our tutorial on how to make a cootie catcher. We hope that you have fun trying this at home. Send us pictures in the comments. Mm -hmm.